UPSC Engineering Services examination 2019 is over and now students are definitely interested to find whether they are expected to get call for the mains or not and some of these students are curious to know ki what is cut off, what is difficulty level as compared to last year and what would be their strategy and planning for the next coming exam of GATE and for the Engineering Services mains exam. Today we have with us the entire electronics and telecommunication team of Medeji which is teaching to the all center students and now we would have we will have the discussion on each subject with respect to the difficulty level of questions, type of questions, pattern of questions and how it has been different or similar from the last year questions. So let us take one by one and I will take up with the network theory. So network theory what is uh, your viewpoint on the network theory uh, as compared to last year? Uh, I would like to know. Last year is only given a 9 questions, but year, this year is given a 15 questions. But more number of questions are numerical based and also a more lengthy questions. And uh, one question must requires a calci. Without calci, you can't get a, uh, uh, the question value. So, Naresh, you mean to say the questions are this year tougher than last year or easier? Tougher. Tougher than last year. Last year. Okay, and what is your opinion on this? Uh, Every year we expect question from theorems, but this year from theorems no questions are given. Hmm. Most of the questions are given from study sheet AC circuits, hmm. but lengthy questions are given. Lengthy questions. So both of you have the opinion the questions are lengthy. Uh, EDC normally is a very important subject, but number of questions are four. What are the level of questions and from which topics? So this year the level of questions is very easy, but uh, as far as the Total scoring wise is concerned, when you are having less questions in the objective type, but you can expect more in the mains exam like that. Uh, the questions asked in uh, uh, BJT related questions like that, but uh, the questions you are expecting more in the mains exam, and uh, as far as the level is concerned, it is a very easy level to ask this year. Okay. Analog electronics is equally important and always has been important. And, uh, Though if the car is not available, but uh, what is your opinion uh, on this uh, analog electronics? What was difficult to uh, It is really not that much difficult, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and out, uh, actually last year 11 questions, this year also 11 questions only. Mm -hmm. uh, in which uh, two, only two questions are theoretical questions. Mm -hmm. Nine questions are directly mm -hmm. numerical mm -hmm. type of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the uh, standard was similar to last year or up and down? Uh, Almost similar only. Compared to last year, this year it is easy. Easier. Easier. Okay. And uh, uh, in actually they concentrated four questions on only rectifiers they have and four mm. questions on oscillators, mm. uh, which they are not supposed to do so. It is not like a uniform distribution of the total syllabus. Okay. Uh, but always there is uh, there is always some. Uh, you can say unpredictable things happening in the examination otherwise there is no curiousness so it is not always possible to predict key what should be asked or what not let the upsc the very most uh, respected uh, transparent organization <coughs> definitely there are really deviations here to here material science is the area uh, with less to study and more to score number of questions 13 and Area wise, syllabus wise, it's quite less and small. So but last year, uh, seven questions were there in material science. This year, thirteen questions. So you say uh, most of the questions are uh, theory oriented, and out of uh, out of thirteen, twelve questions were theory and one question is numerical question. And the toughness level, half of the questions were tough, half of the questions were easy. So compared to last year, you say little tougher paper material science. So. Okay, that's all. Basics of electrical engineering, which is the newly added subject two years back in syllabus of engineering service, and it has been very important. What was the difficulty level? And electronics students usually do not study electrical machines. So, what was the difficulty level of questions? Um, mainly in basic electrical engineering, uh, previously it was uh, more number of questions like 15, 16 questions were there. This year also nine questions were there, but all are relatively. Uh, easier than the previous year questions and uh, the variations like uh, previously it was from induction machines also but this year they have focused on basics and DC machine and transformer only but previously battery topic was not included but this year battery also included and two questions were there from batteries also. 
uh, Hanif, control system, what were the difficulty level and pattern of questions? Students were able to answer it or they found difficulty? Uh, compared to last year, the level of the question is uh, very, very less. Uh, last year, the number of questions were high and the level of the question was also high. But this year, the number of questions have reduced and uh, the level of the question is also very easy. Uh, because, uh, I mean, other subject marks got escalated, so fluctuations are very common. For the students have made easy, uh, it, should have, it would have been very easy to answer to those questions. Uh, electronic, uh, for electromagnetic theory, uh, number of questions are consistent 13 last year, 14 this year. What were difficulty level and from which area they asked more questions? The, the standard of uh, questions is almost the same as the last year. But uh, the only good news is there's not much questions from antennas, which is supposed to be tough. And equally not much questions from the static electromagnetic uh, fields, because which is supposed to be considerably tough. But uh, quite a few questions coming down to vectors and calculus and vector calculus and on uh, very basics. That's very interesting. And uh, the only first plus point about this paper is there is an increased uh, focus on logical questions. In fact, in the last five, six years, they stopped asking logical questions. They are very up to the formula. But this year, there were a bit of uh, logical questions and reduced questions in antennas. And uh, overall, the toughness is maintained almost to the same. So, very good paper. Communication system is a basic subject of electronics engineering and uh, number of questions are considerably okay, 11 questions. What was the difficulty level and uh, nature of questions? Yeah, this year communication systems questions are very easy outside, uh, 11 questions are given and among 11 questions, one question is little difficult side, remaining 10, 10 questions are very easy questions. The students who attend classroom course, they can easily solve them those 10 questions and among 11 questions, Two questions are theory and remaining uh, nine questions are numerical questions. Computer organization and architecture is the newly added topic in the engineering services syllabus and uh, it is offshoot syllabus which is not the part of core electronics engineering. But people say least, uh, read less, score more, that is the nature of behavior of the subject. 12 to 10 questions every year. So what is your view on the subject? Last year 12 questions given. In the 12 questions, few questions are lengthy questions and this year 10 questions given. In the 10 questions, 4 questions numerical and 3 questions reason and assertion questions and 3 questions theory based questions. Means all the 10 questions are correctly formulated with the proper distribution. So Well, thoroughly yeah. distributed on these levels. Yes sir. Okay. Advanced communication, advanced electronics is a very important area including VLSI, microprocessor and signal cell system, amalgamation of all the three major areas. So from which topic they asked more questions? Uh, they asked more questions uh, in, from microprocessor. Hmm. Uh, last year it was around 9 questions from uh, the advanced electronics, this year it, it is escalated to 17 questions. Hmm. Uh, last year we had no questions from the VLSI topics but this year we had around 5 questions from VLSI topics. Hmm. And uh, microprocessor also last year only really five questions were there, this time it got to eight. Mm. So and the signals and systems also, some part of signal systems also comes under this uh, topic. Mm. So uh, they added uh, same number of questions, four questions last year, four questions right. last year. Right. So on the, uh, the advanced, the VLSI topics questions were really tough. Mm. Uh, but the microprocessor and the signals and systems topic, uh, they are moderately easy okay. from the advanced electronics part. Right. Digital circuits, digital circuits, right. another important yeah. area. and. Uh, Always 10 to 10, 8 type of questions like that. What was difficult to level this year? The questions are actually very easy uh, compared to last year. Last year it was 10 questions, this year also 10 questions. And uh, the, uh, the distribution of the questions was only from only two topics and that too very very easy, very basic questions were asked. And uh, out of the 10, 9 were numerical and only one question was uh, assertion using theoretical type. All the questions were very simple. Okay. So if I ask in one sentence, in this subject last year was tough for this year, whether easy or tough. So for this year, please tell. Network as compared to last year? Little tougher. Tough. Tough. And what about EDC? Easy. Easier. What about this analog? Same, sir. Same. What about this digital? Easy. Easy. What about material science? Little tougher, sir. Tougher. Measurement and instrumentation? Sir, we have not covered measurement and instrumentation. Okay, so what were the behavior of the questions of measurement and what type of questions asked? Generally, every year around 60% theory, 60% uh, numerical and 40% uh, theory questions appear. Mm. But this time out of the 11 questions that have appeared, only one question was theory mm. and 10 All questions were numerical.
basically yes there was again this variety of questions generally there are one or two assertion and reasoning type of questions which are asked every year this time there was no assertion and reasoning asked at all division wise again there was generally more focus is given towards electronics in so electronic instrumentation side this time it was given to analog and error analysis side paper was moderately easy it was not tough there were like sir was saying that networks were played an important role in two questions others were basically straightforward questions what is your opinion so it is easier than last year or tougher than last year similar to what was okay. asked similar to the last year okay control system very easy compared to last year easy and emt the same standard sir and which is same supposed standard. to be quite simple communication system easier easy aside and computer organization easy sir. easy aside and advanced communication anybody can give the idea the team member is not here okay and advanced electronics tough tough so i see around five topics are tougher and around seven topics are easier so this year do you feel that cut off may go up than last year little bit plus or yes. minus five plus, plus or minus, minus five marks but we have seen in paper one general study the engineering aptitude it was little difficult as compared to last year and that may be little up and here may be little down so there may be more or less same cut off or yeah. what what is your opinion almost almost, almost same last year the cut off of electronics engineering was 213 for general 206 for obc 173 for sc and 155 for st and our team is in consensus that this year cut off may be more or less same because gs paper was thought slightly tougher and technical is slightly easier but more or less it may be similar so we expect that ki 210 to 215 may be cut off of the uh, general category and uh, maybe 205 to 210 may be cut off of the obc category anyone having this discrepancy with the my view no 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 and sc cut off may be around 170 to 180 and st cut off also 160 to 170 this is what we expect after making an assessment of the your marks you may come into conclusion what are chances of your selection whatever expected cut off we are telling it is just an estimate and it is not hard and fast cut offs depend on variety of parameters like performance of the students and the subjectivity of the questions right like year by year cut offs vary even though you are close by or near by with the 10% 15% you can expect your qual and you should try for the mains examination as well but after the prelims just 30 days are left for the gate examination at this stage of time you have to focus for gate don't stop just restart yourself but practice more on solving problems revising the syllabus of gate important topics to be covered and you have seen in ese there was no any area which can be dropped and which is less important everywhere everything can happen and same is the case of gate you should not ignore any subject or any topic which important topics must be given priority but all the topics should be studied secondly rehearsal and practice makes you error free and error free performance is the absolute performance so you have to focus on practicing more questions attempt the test series questions appear in the center based test cvt test and make yourself more perfect for the examination after the gate examination then you make an analysis of yourself you what kind of the marks and what rank you are expecting in gate and whether you will get a call in ies for mains if yes proceed for that otherwise wait for the next examination and continue your study don't stop you have not failed but you are going to continue so engineering services preparation is definitely useful for the gate examination preparation and definitely later you can utilize for the civil services medigi is one of the most dedicated organization we will come with the complete comprehensive program of the mains with the conventional practice program and the mains test series in case you are expecting your call or even if you are planning for future you should join this as our advice but it all depends on your constraints and your choice right medigi has conducted recently the content improvement uh program in which we have updated the entire study material we have changed the workbook we have modified the theory and previous year's old papers are reviewed we have in 
we have uh, tried to eliminate the errors, uh, printing errors and the cons uh, any other kind of errors in the question papers and the fault papers and we hope that the coming editions will be free of errors and will be very useful for the students. So Medigy team is very dedicated and hard working and we have put our sincere efforts to give you the solutions of the engineering services examination and prelims 2019 also. Being the first day today, we have tried our level best to give the solution and this I hope will be useful to you. In case you find any discrepancy, you are expected to challenge our answers. We are providing the facility to challenge and your challenges we will definitely evaluate with the full sincereness. And if we find certain changes, yes, those are implemented, we will come out with the revised and updated answer sheet also. And that can be a handy tool for you to evaluate yourself. At the end, I would like to tell you, don't underestimate yourself, don't think you have failed, you are very close to success, you have not failed, your success may be postponed for some time, but you have to keep patience, keep on working hard, <coughs> commitment of yourself for the examination is at most needed, so perform on that, right. Wish you all the best, Medigy is always with you, if you want any support, whether you are part of Medigy or not the part of Medigy team. Medigy classes doesn't matter. We are always eager to help you, guide you, support you, and we definitely want to be success partner in your success. So any kind of support you are looking forward, please do come and take our support. We are eager to help you. Thank you, everybody. Wish you all the best. Have a good day.